We're at the 179th convention of the Diocese of Michigan, and I've asked our delegation from Christchurch Cranbrook what has most impressed them during this convention. Here are their answers. What most impressed me was the renewal of Hispanic ministry in the Diocese of Michigan that was about to take place after a, a too long of a hiatus. Impressed me the most at this convention was getting the chance to hear from our presiding bishop and seeing what a wonderful human being she is. She sets an example for for all of us as to how we should reach out to each individual as an important human being. What impressed me most was that we had a wonderful group here. I loved everything Bishop Catherine said. She touched my heart, and. It was just a wonderful convention filled with love and kindness. Like I was so impressed that um, the youth in this diocese were so much a part of this convention. Um, our Christchurch Cranbrook youth were featured many times on the films and the pictures that were presented here. And um, there's a real spirit of mission and ministry and that's being talked about in every conversation. <laughs> I was impressed by this convention by the agreement to agree rather than disagree. That doesn't mean there weren't areas of disagreement, but they were not disagreeable as, they, as we spoke of. Now there are a lot of other very important things that went on, but people had to be listening and it appeared that they were listening and taking to heart what they were hearing. That was encouraging. What I thought was um, very good about the convention is the order, orderliness of the convention and the opportunity to meet people from all over the diocese and to um, just worship together. Ready? And for me, I think the things that have impressed me most were how respectful everyone was in the discussions of various resolutions and the decision-making process. I was moved by Bishop Catherine's presentation in which she reminded us that those churches that are turned outward and meeting the needs of the neighbors at their doorstep are thriving and those that are focused on their differences are declining. She reminded us of the five marks of mission. She reminded us of the millennial development goals. And Bishop Gibbs did an excellent job of sharing with us the things that, for which we need to be thankful to God from the past, from the present, and the future that stretches before us as a people of God.